Damn it, man. It's totally stubbed the shit on my toe. <sighs> Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris. I'm uh, going to do a quick vlog today. Some of the things we want to talk about is Puig. Yes, El Puig, why is he not signed yet? Um, is it his drama and his price tag, or is he going to end up like Craig Krimble and he'll be picked up by some team later on? Just curious about that. Comment, let me know if you feel that he's getting a raw deal right now, or he should actually be signed on the team. Opening day's coming up. Uh, excited about that. Yankees playing at the Nationals. So that's going to be exciting. So don't forget about the Field of Dreams. That's coming up on August 13th. That's going to be awesome, too. Rules. Um, rules, we've got no spitting, no chewing tobacco. Uh, so they've got a lot of things set for uh, safety standards for the players. Uh, one of the rules is a wet towel or wet rag the pitchers can have in their back pocket, so that way they're not licking. Um, I mean, what's to stop them? from putting a different substance on there and just saying, God damn it, my toe it still hurts, man. Um, now, I want to talk to you guys about the designated hitter. Uh, designated hitter will be implemented. Now, you know, designated hitter started in 1973. And I'm 50, so I've seen it go through different generations and how people feel about it. Me being a shortstop and a fielder, I never liked it because I thought it was my opinion and opinion back in the 80s and, and early 90s was around baseball if you can't field then you don't deserve to go to the hall of fame and you know it's kind of uh, one of those things on the team you kind of have a little animosity because you're like you're not helping us you're just hitting but as baseball has progressed it's changed um, the designated hitter is much more acceptable it doesn't really impact world series the thing with the designated hitter is you know if you if you're for it it's not a problem if you're against it let me explain it to you this way because the designated hitter has become much more acceptable the last 10 or 15 years, hence Edgar Martinez, Frank Thomas. I mean, realistically, baseball has changed and the baseball writers have changed their attitude and approach towards Hall of Famers, which is proven by those two players. Back in the 80s, no chance. 90s, no chance of them getting in. Now baseball's changed. You know, and I know a lot of people are for it. I'm, you know, I'm traditionalist a little bit, but I'm also progressive. I don't really care. Um, it actually helps. Uh, pitchers bat like around a uh, buck 20 so it gives more offense and, and you know what there's a lot of pitchers that hate batting the way I would look at it is for the people that like it you're 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 okay with it for people that are on the fence or don't like designated hitter let me explain it to you this way a pitcher fields hits and pitches so you're just taking away one of those elements the hitting part um, it's designated hitter it's the same thing a designated hitter is designed for a player who can't field but can hit. And then on the flip side of that, what they're doing is they're taking a pitcher who can field but can't hit. So it just makes sense. I mean, really, it's... I get that you want the strategy side, but there's really not that much strategy with a pitcher coming up other than trying to get that, you know, trying to get a third out in the eighth slot so the pitcher leads off. I mean, there's really... It's just going to be better for the game. And finally, um, players are opting out. I think there's been about 9 or 10 players opting out. The biggest player is Ian Desmond. He opted out, but he also threw in um, a racist uh, comment towards Major League Baseball. The way, you know, I've looked over his uh, post, and I've read a lot of comments online. The way I view it is, it was just thoughts. I don't think Ian was putting a political statement out there. He was going through like a self-realization. During Corona, he went back to Sarasota a Little League field. He noticed it was run down. And I think he realized that baseball himself and us as a society aren't doing enough to give opportunities for young kids. Because I think Ian recalled people that influenced him and helped him shape his career and get him to where he's at. Um, but then there's also uh, points he made about racism behavior in the dugout which times are changing and i'm sure he experienced those things but i think that as we're progressing along we're going to see less uh, negative behavior in the dugouts but the main point i think he was making is and i think you have to understand there's two things there's the major league field and the major league front office which has accountants customer service i think what he's trying to illustrate is diversity and opportunity is not spread out all throughout baseball maybe in some segments but not all of baseball and I think so despite how you feel about his post, um, I 
again, I think his ultimate point is he wants Major League Baseball to be just like a dugout. When you look at a dugout, there's just diversity. you got Italian players, Australian players, Dominican, American, Canadian, super diverse. But when you take that same image and you put it across the board in the front offices, uh, management, uh, everywhere, now he might have motivation coming from maybe he wanted a coaching position throughout the years. Uh, maybe he wanted to be a manager and it wasn't there. Or maybe he saw friends of, you know, of color or a different race that weren't getting opportunities that other people were. I don't know his exact motivation, but if that's the case, uh, Major League Baseball is the most diverse sport in the world. Look at the World Baseball Classic. Uh, look at the players in the dugout and on the field. I think baseball is one of the most, if not the most diverse sport. But if there is that opportunity, if there is something going on where there is a little too much, uh, if there's a little bit of racism, then Major League Baseball needs to uh, basically address it. And if it's something in the long run, then I'm proud that Ian said it, and hopefully it comes to fruition and things are balanced throughout the league and throughout Major League Baseball. So I look at it as a good thing. I wouldn't take it to heart. Just read it, and it's again, it's more of a thought thing. I don't think he was trying to do a political statement. I think he's just letting people know that, you know, we all can do a lot more and Major League Baseball needs to step up a little bit more.